In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a text reveal sort of animation right within Premiere Pro. No plugins, no After Effects, everything's done right within Premiere Pro. I'm super excited about this tutorial because one, it's a very cool effect. Two, you can now do it right within Premiere Pro relatively easily. And three, I've seen some other tutorials on YouTube that explain how to do this effect with like masks and things and keyframes and making all kinds of thing adjustments to every single detail. It's much easier than that with the track mat effect. All right, so let's dive into it. The first thing you're going to learn is how to make this text reveal from basically some sort of invisible box or a line, or it could be something within the environment of your video itself. Maybe it's popping up over a wall or something like that. And then we're going to learn how to animate this line. All right, so let's start over here on this sequence and it's basically working a lot in the essential graphics panel. So first let's create our text. So I'm gonna create a new layer text and I'm just going to call this reveal. We're gonna make it even bigger this time. We're going to center it using the horizontal and vertical alignment tools. And we're just gonna leave it like that. And we're not done yet though. So what we're going to want to do is actually create a block that is covering this reveal text. So we're going to use a separate graphic layer. So click off of that reveal text, go to this new item button or new graphic and choose rectangle. Now this doesn't matter what color or anything, but it does matter the size and the position. So I'm going to put it right here in front making sure to cover this entire text. Now I'm making sure that I cover the bottom and it's kind of like right below the bottom. Um, but if, and I'm doing that because I want the reveal text to pop up from below this square. If I was wanting it to kind of come downwards, I would probably put it right at the top. Now you can do things like drop the opacity of this shape if you want. So you can really fine tune where it is, something like that. And I'm just gonna put it there bring up my opacity again. Now I'm going to use the track mat effect. So in your effects bin, if you type in track mat key, you should find that. Apply that to the text layer itself. And that's very important. Now, if we go down to our effects controls on the text layer under track mat, make sure you change the mat to the layer where this graphic square is or rectangle. That is on layer number three. So see what just happened right there? Our reveal text is being is appearing where that rectangle is. And I can adjust this text using uh, the transform tools here underneath the text options in the effects controls panel. Make sure that you're not adjusting the position up here in the video effects motion so see if I move this around, that moves the text itself around. I'm moving the position of the text itself basically within the graphics. So see if I go over here to affect the essential graphics panel, go to this text and move our text around with this positioning. I'm doing the same thing. This, what I'm doing right here is what I'm doing over here in the transform tools. And the reason why I want to do it over here in the effects controls panel is because I can keyframe it. And that's what's going to create this animation. So I'm gonna zoom in here on my timeline. I'm gonna go about one, two, just like five frames or so ahead. I'm gonna make sure that this top graphic is only starting at the start of our text. And now with the reveal text, I'm going to set a keyframe for the position right here, transform. And now I'm gonna go back to the very beginning of the graphic and then I'm going to drag down. So now if I play through this, I'm gonna loop this so we can see it. See how it pops up? Now I can change the length of this. I can extend it, these keyframes. So it's a little slower. I can also make it a little bit more smooth by selecting those keyframes, right clicking them and adding some Bezier to it. See how that makes it a little smoother. You can even go in here and fine tune the speed by dropping down the position and seeing this velocity, you can drag that in. It's kind of hard to see here. Dragging the left in, 
or the right in and the left out. You can kind of really play around with the speed and the motion. It's a little bit easier in After Effects, but it's cool that you can do that right within Premiere Pro. So that's cool, right? So now we have this reveal text popping up from beneath this sort of graphic. So if we put a line on top here, for example, so let's create a new graphic. So selecting off of our graphics, click the new item button in the essential graphics panel. We'll just use a rectangle. That's totally fine. Let's make a line out of this rectangle, something like this. We're just going to put it beneath like so, extend this graphic to the start. So now this is actually coming out of, or it looks like it's coming out of this text, right? So I want to make sure that this graphic, this rectangle is meeting up with this line actually. So I'm selecting this shape and I'm going to move it down just a little bit right there. All right, so now that reveal text is coming up from out of this line, now we just have to animate the line. So first let's go into our line, shape, let's change the fill to white, and we're going to actually move the anchor point, which is this little circle with the crosshairs. And if you, let's undo that, if you press the command key while you're dragging it, you kind of get these guides, and I'm gonna snap it to the center of this, so that now, if I want to add an animation, using scale, I'm going to go drop down the scale in our transform. I'm going to uncheck uniform scale. And I'm going to do a uh, horizontal scale animation. See how I drag this in and out and that scales it up. So right here, I'm going to set a keyframe for horizontal scale. Now I'm going to go to the beginning and drag this down to zero. And I want that line to be all the way out past the reveal text before the reveal text starts to come on the screen. So I'm going to drag this keyframe in just a little bit. And that's pretty good. Again, you could play with the speed of these keyframes, right clicking them, Bezier, things like that. Cool. So now you wanna put your, say you wanna put your video underneath. That's totally cool if you're already set up with this text title on the second track and how it is now. But say you started with this on the first track or maybe you wanna move it up one more track. When I do that, everything gets a little wonky and that's because the track mat settings are off. So if I go to my reveal text and then go down to the track mat, let me close down this text so I can see the track mat options. If I change the mat, it was on video three, now I wanna choose video four. And now I could put my video on layer one or layer two or move it around however I want. So now we have our reveal text. And basically to reverse this, all you would need to do is just reverse the keyframes. So you probably will know how to do that by now if you learned what we just did right now. But we can reverse these keyframes by basically copying this last one, pasting it, and then going a little bit, copying the first one, pasting it, and so now it kind of reverses that animation of the text and then the same thing with the line. Now, notice one thing when we do the line right here, where's our line? So we select our line, go down to the horizontal scale here, copy that last one, paste it, go to the first one, copy and paste it. So notice that when I play through this whole thing, this line kind of does this weird continual bounce and that's because it's on the auto bezier. So if I select these two inner keyframes on this animation, right click them, I'm gonna turn the bezier off just to linear and just have it go on, it stops there, and then it goes off right there. And see that last bit right there? I wanna make sure that my graphic all end at the same point. So there's nothing weird about any squares popping up with that track mat. Awesome, so that's how you can do a quick sort of, or maybe a longish text reveal. You can do this with any text, you could do it with any shape. I used a rectangle, but you could use a circle, you could even use another graphic that's any other shape, and it will basically reveal what's behind it into that shape. Cool, so thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. 
Well, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for more. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below in the comments. And if you're looking to take your skills to the next level, make sure you head over to videoschoolonline.com where we have premium courses, more free tutorials and articles, guides, and all kinds of stuff that will help you become a better creator. Thanks so much for watching and have a beautiful day.